A butterfly moves with the speed of 12 meters per second. The x component of its velocity is 8 meters per second. The angle between the direction of its motion and the x-axis must be. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw a picture of this situation. So here's north, east, west, and south. Now we're told that we have a velocity of 12 meters per second and that the x component is 8 meters per second. So we know that we have a x component of 8 meters per second. Now they don't necessarily tell us the direction it's pointing, but as long as it corresponds to an 8 meters per second on your diagram, it will be fine. So we can choose to have this as our 12 meters per second, or you can choose to have it being pointed down, but still have a velocity of 12 meters per second. Either one of these two would be fine. They would both correspond to a similar angle between the x component and the main velocity of 12 meters per second. But for this problem, we're going to use both of the red parts. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the blue part now. So we now have to solve for the angle between here. We would see from knowing about Sokotoa from your algebra classes and pre-calc that cos of theta is equal to the adjacent, which is 8 meters per second, over the hypotenuse, which is 12 meters per second. And we can simplify this fraction here to be 2 thirds. So the cos of theta is equal to 2 thirds. Now to solve for theta, we take the cos inverse of both sides. So theta is equal to cos inverse of 2 thirds. And if we carry this out in your calculator, you'd find theta is equal to 48.2 degrees. So this corresponds to an answer C, which is 48.2 degrees.